Hi folks, I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about this poster before the end of the month comes. I'm really obsessed with it because of its inaccuracy. <laughs> you know, advertising is designed to make us buy stuff. So, a lot of movie posters, and especially those during the 1950s, were adept at creating an illusion that this movie is more than what it is. First of all, Forbidden Planet happens to be one of my favorite science fiction films. It is a clever combination of Shakespeare and Freud and it did not need this sensationalistic poster to sell it. The only accurate thing about this poster is the title font they use. The, the color of the sky they have here that's not, it's not a black sky like you, you expect to see but it was kind of a greenish, greenish, bluish kind of, you know, mostly green sky. Uh, one of the characters, the doctor, says he could grow to love it. Did not have all these little planets and didn't have that in there. You know, like a Saturn-like planet. Uh, I, I didn't see anything like this. Nothing, you know. Everything in this picture does not depict the beauty of Altair IV, the planet. The spaceship was not two-tiered like this with this on the top. They're making it look like that's an alien spaceship and this may be a death ray or something. The flying saucer, the commanded by uh, Captain Adams, uh, had one tier, you know, and didn't have the, this bottom thing here. And the, the light underneath, you see, that was the, the landing that helps it to land, the gravitational thing that helps it to land. So that's totally wrong. So finally, let me get to this main part here. Poor Robbie the Robot. I love Robbie the Robot. That was the first time I'd ever seen a robot. I saw Forbidden Planet in the movie theater when I must have been, when it came out. I must have been six at the time or seven. I think six. First of all, in the 1950s, a lot of posters had a woman being carried by the monster. Just like this. And a lot of times the movie would have that. The woman getting carried by the monster. Now they had a movie called She Creature and the poster of She Creature didn't have her carrying a guy, which would have been nice. They had a Attack of the 50 Foot Woman, but her, the poster for that movie was fake like this one. And uh, there were She Demons. This movie did not have Robbie the Robot carrying a female and, she, and the female of the movie, Anne Francis, did not look like her. All right, and she's much more scantily clad. Uh, so, in fact, Robbie's, the Robbie the Robot character was carrying the doctor, played by Warren Stevens, a man. So he was actually carrying a man, and I won't tell you why he was, but you, 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 when you see the movie, you'll get to it. Now, I'd like you to see, if I, can, I wish I could get this in close, yeah. Yeah, this is important. Let me just focus this in. They're trying to make poor Robbie look like he's like the vil like a monstrous villain. And they do have a monster in the movie, but it is not. Definitely not Robbie. Robbie does not have angry little things in here to make him look like, you know, he's mad. Robbie is it's not all red in there. Robbie is a very, very nice robot. I mean, this person, this character, I could say, helped reinforce or solidify what robots are to me for my entire life, even though they make the evil robot movie. I could never figure out where Robbie's eyes were, so I've decided to say that his eyes are here, not in here, but the, these, these things, see? These are his eyes. And there's it, and here from here, and that always I always got a big kick. That's where he talks. You know, when he talks, his his mouth lights up for every word, and it, and it's cute the way that when I was a kid, I got a big kick out of the way his mouth was lighting up, and he talks from there. There's I think his eyes, and um, he's a very nice person, um, a very nice machine, someone or some being that you'd like to have with you if you're on an unknown planet. So. This poster is totally inaccurate. 
it's totally designed sorry about using totally so much it's my part of my California uh, upbringing but the whole the whole idea of this poster is to make people think oh Jesus here's the monster what kind of mo the, the monster robot or carrying the girl blah 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 as they you know a lot of these movies the helpless girl they were carrying that's another thing we should talk about because movies the important thing about movies is they are a reflection of the culture and you know you watch movies different during different periods you get to learn different ideas that were going in the background the subtext Robbie the robot was a nice being he never carried a woman in a, an aggressive fashion. He had that, in fact carried a, a poor man who'd been injured. And remember when you're watching a, when you, or excuse me, when you're viewing a movie poster, you ought to always remember that it's not always accurate. And I just wanted you guys to know that. If you have a chance, see Forbidden Planet and make sure you see it in its widescreen format. And if you can, see it in a movie theater. One of the finest science fiction movies ever made. And it had Leslie Nielsen in it. A lot of you folks are used to Leslie Nielsen as a funny guy, like the Naked Gun series. But he also had, like, serious dramatic roles, too. Not to say that a comedian isn't a serious dramatic actor.